Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be looking at conditional operators, which is simply just two things, which is the double ampersand or the double vertical line. The double vertical line meaning or, and the double ampersand meaning and. So basically what this means is when we're looking at the double ampersand, and if you guys are having trouble, don't worry, the code will be available on GitHub, but this is more like an explanation video rather than necessarily raw code. So when you have the double ampersand, it's basically saying both sides have to return true. Now, when you're looking at something like a, when you're dealing with something like Booleans, it gets a little weird because if we make two Booleans here, so Boolean, um, fat equals true and boolean skinny equals false this is a false boolean right so if we go ahead and say if fat and skinny we can see here that it's going to say this is always going to return false right so if we go ahead and say system dot out dot print line and this is right okay so if we run this it's obviously not going to be true so let's just go ahead and grab an else and let's just add in this is false so it's going to return this is false and now the reason why is because what this is basically saying is this is asking if fat is true then this side is true and if skinny is true then this side is true right so what we have to say is we have to go ahead and say if skinny if not skinny so this exclamation point here means not so we say if fat is skinny then this side is skinny and if not skinny then this side is also true and so now if we run this we can go ahead and see that this is true but now what we can do is we can go ahead and say or so we can say if fat or if skinny so this is also going to return true because fat is true so we only needed one side to return true for the or versus needing both sides to return true for the and so for the or we can say if fat or is skinny but now if we say if not fat but if skinny then we can say this is false because neither of these are returning true so it's going to go to our else statement here saying these are both false but if we change to if not skinny then it's going to return true because we are saying if not skinny then it, this side is true so that's all i got for you guys today in this video a super super short video I just wanted to explain the and in the else or the and in the or and this like like I said this doesn't this works for more than just booleans this will work for numbers too so let me just go ahead and just show that really quickly here so we can go ahead and say 10 12 so we can say if fat is greater than 12 or fat is less than skinny not than skinny so now what this is going to say, and the, your IDE will tell you if this is always true or always false. So now if we run this, we can see there that this is true. But now if we change this to and, it's obviously not going to work because it just won't. But it's going to say that this is false because neither of these sides are true. Or both of these sides aren't true. Only one side is. So yeah, so that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.